Men are obsessed with how women fall in love. It is really no secret why. Most of men want women and want to know how to get them to hang out with them and stuff. If you're reading this, my guess is that you are interested too. No worries. It is perfectly normal to be interested in women. They are adorable, aren't they? According to the Art of Charm, love isn't just a bunch of chemicals. But brain chemistry plays an important role in why we feel the way we feel about other people. And when we feel good things, there is usually a lot of dopamine involved. Dopamine is the chemical the brain releases when people, men or women, experience a kind of pleasure, including love. Love is quite pleasurable when you experience it. How then do women fall in love? This video explores 5 ways women fall in love. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. By constant contact Women love to be touched, but then, who doesn't? A little physical touch such as holding her hand or reaching out to remove a speck on her nose can make her endeared to you because of the release of oxytocin, what makes people like people. If you spend enough time with her, she can start to want your presence or attention all the time. It would look as though she became addicted to you. Some mischievous guys get girls to want them and then leave. It doesn't make any sense, but they do it all the same. For some of them, it is revenge for a bad breakup they experienced with someone else and then decided to take out the revenge on other innocent women. Women like attention a lot. The more attention you give her, the more likely she is going to agree to hang out with you. Make her feel like she is at the center of your world. Women like that type of thing. Men are quite different. They do not crave attention that way and certainly will not fall for anyone who calls them all the time. If anything, they may feel bugged. Men or women are different after all. Call the girl you want as frequently as you can and listen more than you talk. Try to remember some key details too because she will think you don't care if you can't remember. Women tend to remember a lot. Men, not so much. As a man, you probably want to make a good impression the first time you go out on a date. Dress very well and be charming. You lose nothing for looking good. Also, don't stare at her. You might scare her away. If you do this, you will have a great lady in no time. 2. Having great conversation When you go out on a date, what do you talk to her about? She is likely not interested in your RPG gaming adventures or any of your action figures. So what do you do? How about you tell her a genuine story that you rarely share with other people? How about the time you got chased by a dog when you went to play on a farm nearby? Or the time you got bullied until you passed out? The stories are not in the least your favorite ones, but they are true. That's what makes them so profound. Average guys tell them stories of their victory and success all the time. This will not pique her attention one bit. Only something different will make a difference. Telling her a story of a time you read all night and fell asleep in the hall will actually make her more interested than a story of how you aced all your courses in one semester. Women resonate better with people who are themselves, people who are not necessarily looking to impress them but just want to make a conversation. What do you discuss with the girls you like? Their hair color, their smile, their body shape? If this is you, you may have been doing it wrong all this while. You need to make a great conversation all the time. Ask her about her siblings and why she carries a particular color of school bag. Observe her interests and ask her why she does them. These will put you in a far better position than talking about frivolities like her favorite food or favorite color. Note that every girl is different. You can't talk to any girl the way you talk to another girl. It won't work. There is ultimately no right and wrong answer. You just have to be courageous enough to talk to her. When you talk to her, you can tell her all the things you have always wanted to say and learn from her responses. She may be the quiet type or the loud type. Whichever type she is, it's fine. Just don't shy away from it because you are scared that she may not respond. Have you ever been snubbed? I have to. If not, just try long enough and someone will surprise you. Not everyone will accept you or want to talk or listen to what you have to say. Your demeanor and character actually determine whether they will be comfortable talking with you or not. 3. Getting to know her Try not to assume things about her. Ask her. If people say she is from a particular place, ask her. 
Women actually like it when people want to know about them. It shows that you are interested in them. There's nothing wrong with being interested in other people. Some people are interested in you too. You just don't know it. Ask her about her parents and where she's from. Ask her about work and what she enjoys the most. But please, don't ask her interview questions. No one likes interviews. If they did, they would ace them all. Don't ask foolish questions. Questions you wouldn't want to be asked. Don't ask about things like her freckles or the shape of her legs. It doesn't speak well of your sensitivity. Be sensitive to her feelings. This is how you get into her head. Women also love a good story. Listen more than you speak though. You don't want to sound like a chatterbox. No one actually likes that. Listen attentively and smile. Pay attention to details and ask polite questions. You will be surprised at what you will accomplish. Always ask the right questions. They can give you a wealth of information about her. Instead of asking her where she grew up, which will only give you the location, ask her what growing up was like. Don't rush her when she is speaking. She can detect when you are impatient. The slightest sign of discomfort from you can make her stop. And she may not continue again, ever. No woman wants to open up to anyone who isn't genuinely interested in them. That is how it has been and probably will always be. 4. Making her laugh According to inspiring tips, laughter is more than just the best medicine. It's also a way to a woman's heart. Laughter is a great way to connect with people. Laughing can actually make people momentarily forget their problems. When a girl laughs over a guy's jokes, she laughs wholeheartedly. She also sees the guy as a person who would cheer her up whenever she feels down. She sees a future where she laughs often and prefers it to a dull one. Who doesn't like fun things? You'll be surprised by how many people dream of being with very funny people. Smart people are also generally funny. So, if she is with you, she knows she is getting a double package, a smart and funny person. If you're not funny, it's fine. People with faces more serious than yours have gotten married. Whether or not their homes are full of laughter is left to debate. But hey, everyone's journey is different, right? Try to be yourself. Trying too hard to make her laugh may backfire. She may laugh eventually, but only at you. You don't want anyone to laugh at your expense, right? Still, do you make her laugh a lot? If you do, she's definitely interested in you. 5. By sharing important memories When was the last time you shared something really important with her? Do you keep all the great stuff to yourself? People make very genuine connections when they share very personal memories. This can be an epiphany that came from watching a butterfly fly away when you were 5. It can be a dream you keep having. Those type of details are things that you probably don't share with everyone. The type of details people feel privileged to share in. You need to understand that just talking may not cut it. She is pretty. Almost every guy probably wants to or actually talks to her. This means your talking to her won't impress her unless you tell her something different. Secondly, you must not give the impression that you are trying to impress her by being deep. The more yourself you are, the better she will like you. Many people pretend to be who they are not and a lot of girls can tell. Strike up a meaningful conversation and don't interrupt her. Listen a lot and smile when she says something profound. You deserve to be happy. And choosing to be happy has a way of attracting more happiness into your life. Important memories are everything. Cherish them and only share them with people who will actually appreciate them. If you like someone, don't tell them simply because you like them. They may not value it or may even outrightly laugh at you. Some people are just that way. Trust in yourself and believe in the good all your essential memories are bringing to your life. You are so much more than you think you are. After everything, try to be great to people who fall in love with you. They deserve to be happy too.